Today, I would like to talk to you about the new tax law that have been recently passed by Congress. Now, it's not totally finished. They got some more work to do on it, but the elements are there right now. And the winners are corporations and pass-through entities. Uh, a pass-through entity is a partnership, a sub-S corporation, or better, the very best you might say, might be a LLC, a limited liability company. So the ideal is that if you take your monies and you run it through a limited liability company, then you can pay 29% as a maximum rate rather than 39.6%. That's the crux of it. Now, if you have a W-2 and you work for Ford Motor Company or Chrysler, then it probably doesn't matter whatsoever. But you're listening to this, I assume you're an investor, you're vested in real estate. So certainly you want to make sure that your real estate is in an LLC, a pass-through entity. And if you're working uh, as an independent consultant or a worker, and many of you are, instead of getting W-2s, you get 1099s, then you are really you're an independent contractor. And what I would urge you to do is to form an LLC and make sure that they pay the LLC. Now, if you say, Herb, um, they want to pay me directly, for an example, then just call the LLC your name. It would be Herbert J. Strather, LLC. So if they made a check out to Herbert J. Strather, that's good enough. Or if they made it out to Herbert J. Strather, LLC, uh, either one of those is good enough and I can deposit them in, in the bank. So first of all, form a LLC. Now I want to go one other step. I would like for you to form a family LLC. Exactly what is a family LLC? A family LLC is an LLC that you do with your family. Um, if you have your daughter involved and she's three years old and you have a son involved, he's 16 years old. And there's another one maybe that's 14 years old. Maybe you had them a little ways apart, <laughs> like me. In any event, uh, maybe your daughter helps you in advertising. She could get a salary. Your son, he's just got his driver's license. He could take and deliver the documents to different people. And your other son, he could help work in the office, keeping it clean, keeping it organized, producing documents and such. The bottom line is you could take this LLC and you could divide it into four parts. Now that's a great thing because they're in the 0% tax bracket. They won't even have to pay the 29%. Now, if you got to buy clothes for them, give them gas for the cars, take care of them. You do it with your after-tax dollars. Just think about it. You make money, you pay taxes on it, and you take care of your family. Why not let them take care of themselves? Why not let that money go to them? And then it's tax-free to you. What income tax bracket are you in? Let's wake up, Detroiters. Let's wake up people around the world. And let's take and put creative deals together that track um, what other people do. That's why wealthy people wealthy they find ways to keep their income and they have accountants and others that show them now this is not getting into sophisticated trust skip trust generation and all that this is just simply saying a simple family LLC that your kids are in a less income tax bracket than you and if you all own it together then you can share it and another thing too if you own it with your children you can put in restricted covenants somebody sue you the, you could declare that you, uh, if you ever file bankruptcy or you ever get sued, that your interest is Im immediately relinquished. So then you kind of make it bulletproof, if you will. So this is Herb Strather, your coach, telling you to go for family LLCs. Uh, you can find the format for a short form operating agreement, which will define how you're going to participate and who the owners are, right it's on coach, Coach's Corner. Herb Strather signing off. Remember, Family LLCs is the way to go for 2018.